Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'll be covering Isanzo's 23rd dev blog. So hello everyone, it's official, Isanzo's release date is set for September 13th, which just barely slides in right before the end of the summer, so they're still keeping their promise of releasing it on time. Regardless of all this excitement, we do have a lot of other news to cover today, both with the new trailer and the announcement of a new map with this dev blog. So they started this one by announcing a raffle for a game key and a poppy planting grenade which I thought was a pretty cool concept, especially for those who enjoy gardening. You can enter this by simply signing up for the email newsletter on their website, and the direct link to sign up for that can be found in the description below. They also have started making more of these little propaganda posters, and all of them look pretty cool and seem like a fun way of interacting with the community. But now we can talk about the real showcase content with the Dolomites map. In real life, there was a major Italian offensive to take this mountain from the Austro-Hungarians in August of 1915. As you can see here, this includes some sheer verticality, and the hill is incredibly steep, almost seeming like a D-Day type defensive. Because of this elevation difference, smoke placement and trench lines are going to be essential to the advancement of the attacking team. In game, there will be two defensive lines that each have a single attack objective, and the Italians will have to push through rocky paths in order to reach each level. Each one of these mountain shelves will consist of elaborate trench lines that need to be cleared out. In general, this seems like it will create a very interesting mix of close and long-range firefights, with some of the longest sniping angles ever seen in the series being shown off in this trailer. At the same time though, we also see some more familiar claustrophobic trenches acting as the primary cover to avoid these long sight lines. I'm a bit concerned about the difficulty of attackers versus defenders, but so long as there's enough cover and terrain objects to compensate for it, it should be okay. Nonetheless, this verticality being used is something that really is going to separate the game from other titles, because of the sheer scale and scenery in an updated current gen package. A borderline milsim in such a unique environment is something that seems very enjoyable to me, and I can't wait to play it in September. Next week's dev blog will go a bit more in depth about the map and its details. Hopefully we'll get a deep flyover like we have for Garizia and Sabatino, but we'll just have to wait and see on that. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.